I will shit on your desk. Yes, you read the title correctly. My wife and I actually moved in with Dado and Travel Danielle. If you don't know who Dado is, well, do you even play Destiny? He's okay. He's a little boring. Anyway, why did we move in? And what's it like there? We will answer those questions and others. Penis! <laughs> God damn it. And other things on Twitch chat also. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> See the second one's coming, did you? This video is literally just a bunch of chaotic funny moments as various house members rotate in and out of the stream. This video is sponsored by Keeps, but more on that at the end. Can I just apologize on behalf of everyone posting so much cringe in your chat today? I will do the same <laughs> for you at any point. Cause and then for you both can do it for me. About <laughs> an hour and a half yeah. after you started streaming, yeah. literally the entire chat was, go to Jez's stream, go hang out with Jez. <laughs> Go do stuff to Jez. Go touch Jez inappropriately. Go do other things to Jez. And I'm like, yeah. dudes, I have my own thing kind of going right now. I'm not going to do that literally ever. So please stop. What I should have done is not do my first Omega. I'm streaming at Dado's house clickbait stream yeah. while you were also live. That was a I mistake. I wasn't on Destiny. That's the thing. I know. 50% because our lease was running out and we've always joked about having a mini streamer house and 50% we needed to come up with charity donation incentives so we could raise money for the sick kids at St. Jude. The two things collided perfectly and now here we are. And also this is the final phase of my plan that I've literally had in action for six years since I first started watching Dado on Twitch back in the D1 days. I moved to America to be closer, moved to Seattle to be closer than that and now I'm in the house so I feel good. <laughs> literally in my house. <laughs> What is your top take on this command center as someone who has a slightly smaller command center? Wow! I wish <laughs> I had a slightly bigger desk. Okay, we've all been there. But I also treat my desk like a full degenerate, so there's like <laughs> crap everywhere. Whereas you, I feel like can't really do that and yeah. also don't do that. Your desk is literally just a horizontal garbage bin 50% of the time, yes, it looks like. That is correct. Because I'm used to it being a horizontal garbage bin. <laughs> because we are vertical garbage cans as humans. Yes. What was your assessment of my two PC setup after I ran you through how I'm doing things? My assessment was why? <laughs> This is really bad and you haven't made any progress in switching it. If you had to summarize the mistakes that I'm making with the two PC setup, what would they be? Chat, his gaming PC is the considerably stronger computer and his stream PC is a less strong computer. So imagine you sent your five-year-old into the world's strongest man competition and was like, win. And then you took the world's strongest man and put him in an arm wrestling competition for five-year-olds. <laughs> and you're like, also, please win. <laughs> That's what it's like. Right. So it's very backwards. And I told him that he literally needs to completely switch both systems. And I don't know if he's going to do that yet. So we have an i9 and a 2080 Ti just running Destiny. And then we have a five to six year old i7 and a 1080 running four internal Elgato capture cards, 4K camera, 16 different programs. Also, the computer is four to five years old, has one fan and the CPU cooler has never been clean. Imagine you just put a blanket on your CPU cooler and you duct taped it on. What I learned last night is that if your PC is over four years old and you've never cleaned it out internally, there's a lot of dust. And then you wonder why you're at 100% CPU usage. In my defense, I've got huge frames in Destiny. You do, but also... Ah. <laughs> I mean, we've all learned things in the past two days about PCs. In my stream PC, AKA the dustbin, as I will now call it, it's held up pretty well considering it is a dustbin. I'll give you that. <laughs> the next hurdle for me, in terms of like switching all the PC stuff around, I just can't be bothered. Okay. Well, here's the thing about that. <laughs> if I have to listen to you complain about desynced footage when you're editing your videos one more time, right. I will sh on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, you may want to make the switch. Right. <laughs> My new conundrum is, oh, that's so tempting. <laughs> Don't flirt with disaster. Never flirt with diarrhea if there's one thing I've learned. Taco Bell is very close and so is Wendy's. 
If TB has taught us anything as adults, it's you do not flirt with diarrhea. <laughs> We are dropping some nuggets right now. Okay. And by nuggets, I meant nuggets of wisdom, not nuggets of diarrhea. Just to clarify. Your thoughts. Oh my God, I would literally shit on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> Amy is now crying behind the monitor. <laughs> diarrhea, any thoughts? Not a good time. Very true. A reasonable assessment from Amy. Chat is hitting me with a lot of, are you streaming from the inside of a bathroom? Is that a shower curtain behind you? We're streaming from heaven. <laughs> also, I hope you don't mind. I did tell chat about the Lamborghinis that you own. Okay. And that it's pretty cringe that we are just basically <laughs> wading through Lamborghinis every time we try and leave the house. I know you tried to keep that a secret. You're no longer getting one. <laughs> Every time somebody asks me, like, what's it like at your house? Guys, this is literally a mansion. I'm lost all the time, just constantly <laughs> discovering new rooms. We're drowning in money, etc. So I hope that's a fair assessment. It's not. <laughs> Somebody gave me a really good... Oh, you say someone gave me an iPad. Here it is. Yeah. I leaked the info of the house. Just put the address out there. I hope you don't mind. People have been Amazon priming iPads to the house 24-7. SWAT team's on its way as well, though. So that is a drawback. We've already called the police department about that situation. <laughs> All right. When I called the police department to tell them like, hey, just a heads up, you get any like SWAT things. It's a thing on the internet. Yeah. We're on the internet a lot. And his online name is Datto. And the police officer's like... Like Dado does Destiny. Shut the F they up. They know who he was. He's a huge deal and he's so cute. Wow. And then that police officer sent the SWAT team anyway because he wanted to come and check out the crib. Yeah. He wanted an autograph. <laughs> Thank you for saying that I'm so sexy. Borderline sexual harassment with how aggressive you're being. On one hand, love the attention, but let's add a bit more consent energy in there. <laughs> Living with Dado in four words. He is so rich. <laughs> Easy. He would say the same thing, Chad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll give you an alternative. Too many Lambos, IMO. <laughs> do I play Warzone? No. What do I look like? Some 14-year-old Call of Duty playing cringe lord. Hey man, first stream, real question. If you do this for a living, what else do you do with your time? I mostly just troubleshoot my editing software. <laughs> <laughs> I have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> you do now, bud. This is a safe space for you. You're having a load all of our... <laughs> just... Technically, everyone doesn't have any friends during COVID. Unless you move in with your best friends. Idiot! Get literally bypassed quarantine. <laughs> God damn those fur burgers on your arms. I've never heard anyone say that before. <laughs> what is a fur burger? Oh. Amy's physically cringing right now. Amy has diarrhea chat. Congratulations. <laughs> Cringe diarrhea. You hate to see it. <laughs> The most lethal form of diarrhea. If you input cringe, you output cringe. <laughs> because now that I've stopped playing Destiny, the vibes are back up. I was going to say you revived. I revivalized. I understand. 100% understand that. The pastor's in rage was near because you were close to burning it. Was not getting burned. It was just going to be a little less than al dente. Now, who is Dante? What? What? Al dente. Al dente? Is that yeah. like a famous Italian guy? Who's the guy who invented pasta? Right. And we are branded out of our minds right now, dude. <laughs> what are you? Uh, Dado <laughs> eats like he hasn't eaten in weeks and may never eat again. <laughs> Dado has a comedic amount of pasta boxes in the cupboard. I think it was at least nine at last count. Pasta doesn't go bad. They never have the kind that I like at Target whenever we go. And then whenever they do, I only get like one or two boxes because I don't want to be the guy that's like, lol, let me just take this entire shelf, put it in my cart. So that way I buy from Amazon. And they're like, we don't even F. We have 600,000 boxes of pasta. <laughs> We're not going to miss eight. You can just have them. We're not going to miss them. I think that's what they say on the website. Amazon, we don't give an F, especially about our workers. That is topical. <laughs> the title of my next YouTube video is I moved into a streamer house with Dado. Apologies that you aren't mentioned by name, Danielle. <laughs> we now live in a streamer house. It used to be your house. We now live here. There we go. It's now a streamer house. That's the law. I make the rules. I also like that Amy literally just completely organized and cleaned our kitchen. Weird literal pieces of garbage. There was a lot of garbage here when we first moved in. <laughs> 
Amy went ahead and just immediately tidied for about three hours the first night we got here. But I am still here, so. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the mountains of cash just in every room. Why not just put it in a bank? It just feels a little irresponsible. <laughs> the bank is only giving 0.01% interest. Gamers and wife. Thank you for your time. Are you saying that your wife is not a gamer? Drama! In the Dado streamer house, are we breaking up? <laughs> Well, 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 if it isn't my 97% male audience. So this video is sponsored by Keeps Hair Loss Treatment for Men. And I'm glad they did because over the past six months, I have been noticing just a little creeping, just a little bit of movement upwards with the hairline. Not ideal. I'm keeping an eye on it. And with the size of this forehead, I just cannot afford to lose any ground. And I'm only 26, but it turns out that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. But the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair, which is why I am unironically taking action immediately. My wife says she'll still love me if I lose my hair, but do you really think I'm going to take that chance? And now you don't have to go broke to avoid going bald. Keeps has changed the game when it comes to hair loss treatment. They'll deliver the medication to your door once every three months. No more problematic checkout lines where there's one Karen not wearing a mask. Now prevention is everything when it comes to hair loss and Keeps treatment can actually take up to four to six months plus to see results. Guys, it's a long war up top. So you need to take action immediately. You cannot wait on this. If you're like me, you can't afford to have any more casualties up top. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss as I am, go to keeps.com slash the jazz or click the link in the description and save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TH3 jazz. Thank you, Keeps. Good luck, gentlemen.